Welcome to a tutorial for Patty. Uh, today we're going to talk about how to import the uh, um, profiles for the iPad into the new Patty uh, 4.3. The first thing you're going to need is an app called Touch OSC. I'm going to put the link in the notes, but Touch OSC for open sound control. Download the app, put it on your iPad, and you're going to see a screen like this. Um, on your iPad. We are using this app for the templates. You then need to enter your PC's IP address into this app. The documentation is pretty good. I highly recommend to have a fixed IP address for your PC. Um, that way you do not have to enter this address every single time you are starting a new session. There are plenty of uh, tutorials out there how to have a fixed IP address for your um, uh, work PC in your network if you don't have this. So we're done here. Now we need to get the actual um, profiles, the actual layouts into the iPad. Uh, and that in order to do that, we hop over to the Paddy website. Let me get uh, that one second. And again, I'm going to post a link on the Paddy website. There is a new profile downloader. We're going to put all the device profiles that we have uh, for the bearing and for, for some of the other um, uh, things out here on this website. So we download one here. Let's download a profile and put it somewhere where we remember it. In my case, I'll just put it on my desktop here in my second monitor that you can't see. There we go. Uh, and then we hop over to iTunes. Uh, one second. Uh, not quite sure where my mouse is here right now. <laughs> um, still seems to be saving the... Uh, there you go. All right, all right. So here's here's iTunes. In iTunes, you find your iPad connected with a cable. Uh, go to the applications. Uh, in applications, find Touch OSC, and you will see files. Now I'm not quite sh sure why I don't see any files here at the moment, but you should see files pop up. I actually deleted all the files that came with Touch OSC. Um, but all we really need to do is take the uh, take the file that we have and drag and drop here. Um, like so. Yeah, we drop it here, and again, I seem to have some trouble with the connection, but but that's all right. Um, it will immediately show up in your in Touch OC app if you do this. Okay, and then um, once we have it, you just uh, on the iPad, uh, click over and or go over and click on the layout that you want to use. Let's just use our uh, Paddy Touch OC layout with the whole. There it is with um, with the whole setup. We click done. And there it is. Again, the documentation for Touch OSC is pretty good. You will you will do this very quickly. All right. Now let's connect to Patty. Hit the connect button. Da, once, twice. Let's see. It's a new session. Here. Ah, mm, let me check something. Yeah, you need to go to a basic data, a basic setup, and check on use iPad. Otherwise, Patty doesn't know that you actually want to use the iPad. So you check that on. Uh, you. There you go. You check it on. You hop over. Click OK. I restart Paddy when I do these changes. That's that's always better. Um, let's wait a second while Paddy restarts. There are the settings. We click uh, the Connect button. I typically have to do that once or twice. I'm not sure why. Does the Connect button blink? Yes, it does. It might not. There are a couple of hints of what to do. Uh, typically, the first uh, time you do this, you might you might need one or two trials. Uh, but in my case, here the Connect button blinks. So let's click Yes. There you go. Uh, Patty is now sending data over to the iPad, key keywords and such um, to to set the labels. Takes a bit because I have quite a few keywords set here. And there we go. Go. You saw that the slider has already moved. Here we can now change things. Uh, cannot see this because where I put the video, but it, it actually does work. Um, pictures. We can move everything around. Right. That was a short tutorial. Hopefully that works. Um, I also am um, working on the user guide in the description. It's just a lot of work to write this all up. So I figured I'd put this video out. Um, Paddy 4.3 Alpha is available now on the boards.